And uh, it was good enough uh, to give me a job when I packed in because after I mean I worked out how many all levels I got at school and I got fuck all. And uh, I had a clue what I'm going to do. Uh, sorry to all you uh, ladies and children for being here. I do apologise. Not the brightest. Um, it just comes out. Um, as everybody remembers when Keegan said something to Keegan against Aston Villa. Uh, it's a regret. Tell us through that one again. Kevin Keegan, what, what happened? There was a little bit of a... Well, it's kind of funny. Yeah, because uh, I mean, people were talking about Craig Adamy last week. And, uh, you know, I'm on TV saying, oh, stupid boy, and all this and that. And then they, they actually showed the actual uh, TV again from when I got to cop 15 minutes. And saying, Keegan, what a shit decision that was. Uh, but that actually, that really arose from uh, David Jamila. Um, I, I thought he was a bit of a lazy shot, um, to say the least. But he was an absolutely unbelievable player, and Kevin had said um, against Aston Villa, he actually said that, no, 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 I'll bad away with that video, we'll track back today. He didn't. And uh, I told Keegan what I thought, and uh, it was the worst decision of my life, because he would never, no, it won't alter us. He says, don't worry about it, don't be nice. I'll never play for you again. So that's, that's, that's Kevin, you know, he wears his heart on his sleeve, as we all know. Excellent stuff. There's a, a, common, a nice little career for yourself after football and always playing these and that. Do you enjoy doing the fun and stuff? I don't, to be honest. I mean, you try and stay in football um, because I, know, I don't know anything else. I don't want to do any coaching or managing because, well, I saw how, how much Keegan age, honestly, 10 years within the space of about two seasons. And I'm, I'm a lazy get. And after a minute, I haven't had a bad game watching yet. Um, you don't get, you know, Breath give you stick, you know, because I'm the press who give giving people stick. So it's, a, it's an easy number, and I love going and watching you, Castle. And it's actually nice to go and watch your mask as well, because you can always take the piss out of them. Uh, <laughs> and if you don't like it, I'm there, do they? No, of course, it's Well, after I met, it was, it was funny, I, I didn't realise how intense it was up here, you know, until they actually come and live. I mean, I remember Lee Clark says to me, he says, Oh, Ben, you've got her up in a, a supermarket today. He says, Can you do it? He's, 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 you know, do the paper for me. I says, where is it? No, oh, Washington. You know, I realised I didn't really know where I was. And he said, uh, he sent me down there, but just make sure you wear your track to. I said, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I can get a trot out the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you started off, um, you're, you're Sheffield lad, everybody knows that. Uh, and Sheffield United are Blades fan. I am, I am. Proud of that. Uh, obviously, your second team is Newcastle. Um, how did you get into professional football? Literally, I mean, as I say, just playing for your school team. Um, I think that the way the game's changed slightly these days, uh, I think uh, the kids are all into, you know, must have stuff. My little lad's just got to play now. And it's all image, isn't it? You know, he's doing flips and tricks and everything. You know, he must have shoulder boots and all this kind of thing. I think the heart a little bit's gone out of, of football from when I was a kid. 